What is up guys and welcome to another episode of Wind Me Down. We are back here today. No, I did not get a haircut. My hair is just all put in like different, wrapped up in different places right now because I really wanted to look more like a human. This is nice and refreshing for you though that like hate my long hair. So this is a gift to you right now. Let's get into this great episode. Ooh, this is sparkling and seems like it's going to explode. Uh, this is a Roscato. Sweet wine, yeah, so I don't know why, no, oh, sweet white. I really think I may be dyslexic, I don't know. Sweet white wine, no, sweet white wine, great, okay. So today we are trying Italia Roscato Bianca Dolce Sweet White Wine. I just said that amazingly. Let's try it out, shall we? Mm. See how sparkling that is? I, look, it, it literally, I don't know if you could tell, it like came out of it. This is like a champagne. I don't know, I've never had some a white wine that like is literally this like. Hello? 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 This is actually really good. It, it was just, I don't know, really just fizzy when it came out, so I wasn't expecting how fizzy that actually was. This week's song of the week, actually I have two. One is more like a slow, in your feelings kind of one. Not so much slow, but it's just in your feelings, lyrically. And the other one is more if you want to party and rave, you know, get ready for this great weather that we are having. The rave one will be further in the video. This sad one now is gonna bring us into our topic and everything. Song of the week is Messy Room by Nikki Demar. She's a YouTuber on here and she's also from PA. She released this song and I just really related to the words and everything she was talking about. So I just wanted to put that out there for you guys to watch. Um, Cause I really had those feelings when I was having really bad anxiety early on and everything like that. And I even did my own like song when I was really like not able to exit my room at all. So like, I just, really felt with her on that. So this is that. In this messy room, I don't have to think of you. There's too much for me to do. I don't have to face the truth here. In this messy room, there's nothing for you to see. In the chaos, I found peace. Only safe place I can be. Also, I don't know if you can tell, there's kind of like a pattern between this song and my Space Band by Nick Jonas that was last week's song. You know, he says, mask off, soon as I get home, feel good now that I'm alone. You know, and then this messy room song is like about being like just in your room, the safe place that even though it's like messy and dirty and everything, it's just like kind of your safe place. Um, so I just really relate to all that with dealing with my anxiety. But keep watching to hear the rave song. All right, so I kind of wanted to use that song because it's kind of like a deeper meaning air one and to just segue right into kind of the hard stuff we're gonna talk about. I just wanna start off first thing with discussing what I talked about last week, Potato Head. Oh, my friends um, decided to reach out and better educate me on the subject and kind of told me um, from my understanding that the brand itself will be just Potato Head and Mr. Potato Head will fall under that category and whatnot. And I just kind of always thought it was implied, like, that, that was always kind of the situation, you know, and just that Mr. Potato Head was the face of it because we knew him so well from the Toy Story movies, you know, that I feel like that's what I was trying to say last video and I couldn't get that across. I just felt like he was always just like the face of it and we could do whatever we wanted with the parts and everything, you know, and create whatever, you know, he was just the face of the brand just because he was such a big deal of in Toy Story. So like, you know, when a celebrity sponsors like a brand like Nike or Adidas or something like that, that's just how I viewed it. So that's what I was kind of thought. So I never didn't think it would need to be like announced. But now I understand that it's just gonna be just better. It's just gonna be better that way anyways. So yeah, the more you know. I just wanted to tell you that like the voice in airports is so creepy. Like I was thinking about it that if you're walking there in the middle of the night and that voice is just going off, it's just so creepy, I think. I don't know. I just had to say that. Also, I went on my, um, I went on my trip. There'll be a whole video for that soon and whatever and whatnot. Also, this was the one year anniversary of the time the car went through the wall at my job and I was the only one working in that area where it went through. Um, if you guys want a whole story time on that, let me know and I'll put that and I'll make that. Yeah, so it was the year anniversary of that happening, uh, traumatizing. We need to 
needless to say, it could have been really awful. Um, it was really awful. So like messy room brings me into like, you know, things of my anxiety and my anxiety is caused by a bunch of random things and so many things of my life and just growing up and it kind of just getting worse. I don't know. I guess it just, everything just really affected me now. I'm starting to realize that there's people that are my friends and the people that aren't my friends. And there's certain people that all my life brought me down and I just feel like you need to acknowledge that the people that in your life that want you to succeed and they will constantly be boosting you up. They, yes, that can be hard criticism, but they will meet it with compliments. But if all you ever heard was someone putting you down, then I really feel like you need to adjust who you want around you. Because if you want to be going up, then you want a support team. And people who are just always with the negative, not a good support team. I feel like that's something to think about and that's something I've definitely been thinking about. Some people really use certain things that they know are gonna hurt you for no reason. Like, they're not even trying to hurt you. They're not trying to fight. You're not in like a bicker. Like, but they just say it because they know they they'll, it'll kind of make them feel powerful in a way. You know, as you grow up, you need to decide are the people growing with you or are they growing against you? Well, I guess in my notes I wrote down, like, while I was feeling this and everything, uh, don't let anyone make you feel bad for mistakes you made, things you couldn't control in the past that isn't relevant to the present. That's kind of the deep stuff I wanted to discuss. Always be able to laugh at yourself, and I feel like that's what's really wrong with the world right now is that no one can laugh at themselves. And although words can hurt me and like or things can hurt me i still end of the day am able to laugh at myself like i just love looking back at what a goofball or what the hell was i thinking or who was i um i just think always be able to laugh at yourself at the end of the day you know you can be hurt for a little bit but laugh it off at the end of the day because then you'll <laughs> you're just gonna do so much better that way okay guys so that's enough of the serious stuff uh, there's a few things that I wanted to talk about that are kind of random. The Versace line, and I, I have to say this because I've never been actually interested in like watching a fashion show before. Yes, I look at some clips, I look at some of the outfits because I could, even though I could, like, you know, I could never afford them or anything, but like I look at them, some of them are very neat and very cool. But I came across watching the Versace um, 2021, I want to say it's fall winter line, and just the whole video of it and just all the outfits i don't know the pattern something about them all were just really hypnotizing me i just feel like everyone should go look at it just not even for the clothes just for the entire like aesthetic as in like in the production of it because that itself is very um its own experience and i really liked all the clothes honestly and all the different bags and the certain pattern i feel like it was just the way they you know, styled everything with all the patterns and like, cause there were so many like of the same pattern and it was just so crazy. Like, I don't know, I, I just really enjoyed it. It was a really good, I think, line and um, you guys should really check out that video. It's very cool experience, the, everything to watch. And plus Gigi had did after a baby is there, like what? Killing it. I also came across this really weird YouTube video of parents trying to figure out like the things their kids have but they were all very sexual. It was all either sex things or like smoking things. I was just found it very uncomfortable because it was like dildos and like douches and like things like that. It was their mom and dad, like they hadn't, like they weren't, it was not like they were like, you know, in their 30s, their mom and dads were like in their like 60s, 70s or whatever. It was like they were like 18, 15, like 16, like having to like, oh my God, it was traumatizing for me to watch. But like, I guess if you're kind of into that, then go watch it. <laughs> What was that? Okay guys, that's all for Wind Me Down today. You know, we talked about some heavier stuff and we talked about some random stuff. We talked about a good song, a sad song, and I wanna to talk to you about what I think is a really good song. Baby Rex had dropped this song, Sacrifice, uh, called Sacrifice. I really think it is a really good bop. It made me wanna like, it just made me have those old like, club vibes that I've been missing ever so dearly, so bad. So I feel like you guys should really check it out. It's giving me those summer vibes, especially with the weather being so nice. Like you just wanna drive and party and blast it. And like, I think it's really dope. So here's a clip of it. And I go
hope you guys have a good Wednesday and a good week and everything. Goodbye. Love to see you. Catch you next time on another episode of Wind Me Down. If you guys, you know, want to talk about stuff, put it in the comments. Um, adios. Peace out. Goodbye. Everybody. Cheers.